hello and welcome to the T4 video, which is a brief introduction to QuickBooks Online. Um, what we're looking at here on the screen is QuickBooks Simple Start. QuickBooks um, at quickbooks.co.uk offer QuickBooks Simple Start, QuickBooks Essentials and QuickBooks Plus. Um, QuickBooks Simple Start is the base, is a more basic version. The menus and functionality and features in it are slightly less than in Essentials and um, Plus. Um, but just um, so that you're aware, if you're in Plus, you can't go back to Simple Start or Essentials if you want to reduce the price, but you can up from Simple Start to Essentials if you need to, and then you can up from set Essentials to Plus as you need it. Plus offers things like classes, which is putting things in categories. A uh, simple example would be if you had, say, two or three rental properties and you wanted to see your profit loss account with a column for each property, so you can see the income and expenses per property, or if you had two or three locations that you were trading from and you wanted to know um, which say which shop or which division was making which profit then you could put things into classes so you need plus for that um, essentials you would need if you want to do um, raise, receive bills from customers note that you owe someone money and then pay them later um, within uh, essentials as we as within simple start as we'll see in a minute um, you can't post bills you can earn expenses post expenses as uh, as you're paying them so you know, from a tax point of view, if your income is less than the VAT limit, you can prepare your accounts on what's called a cash basis, i.e. you're declaring your income as you receive it and your expenses as you pay them. But if your turnover is over the VAT limit, which at the time of making this video in 2016 is £83,000, then you need to prepare your accounts on what's called an accruals basis. So at the time you raise the invoice, whether you've been paid or not, you would include that invoice in your turnover. And if you've received the bill, from someone that you owe them, then you should include that as an expense, even though you might not have paid it until in your next accounting period. So um, that's a simple explanation as to what's best for you. But the menus are very similar in um, in um, Simple Start Essentials and Plus. The layout is certainly very similar, but the um, the detail part of the menus will vary depending on what you're doing. So um, I've already been talking for two minutes. So I just want to give you a quick quick zip around now um, in less than a minute hopefully. Down the left hand side you've got links to set sections such as your customers, right in customer, um, editing customer details um, and then from within the customer you can raise invoices and things like that. Suppliers for people you're buying purchasing from, again the same thing you can set up suppliers and again down the left hand side if you have payroll and you turned it on and you've got employees then that's the section for that. Um, this is actually sh um, shrunk down um, You'll see this as one, and then when you highlight it, it expands out like this, which I've already done. Um, we'll go into the details of these, but transactions things like your chart of account. Um, so just very quickly, your chart of account is a list of like your bank accounts, people who owe you money, assets, and then further down you get liabilities and then expenses, um, such as you know here we've got accounts, your computer costs, entertaining issue, and so forth. So um, the report section down the left hand side is where you get your profit and loss on balance sheet. VAT, if you've got VAT turned on, will take you into a section about your your VAT return, preparing your VAT return, seeing what you owe in terms of VAT or what you're owed, etc. Um, you can add on add-in apps such as timesheet apps and link to credit card payment companies, etc. through linking through apps, but that's something a bit more detailed than for today's video. So you've got menus down the left-hand side when you're looking at it. Let's just go back to the home, home page. Um, from the home page, you can connect, connect to your bank account online to import your transactions, which is an amazing piece of QuickBooks. Um, we use QuickBooks Desktop till many, for many years, for about 15 years. To, um, we've been moving clients into QuickBooks Online. We now do our own books in QuickBooks Online, so we're not preaching something that we don't do ourselves. Um, you can import the bank, learns about transactions. So if you bought petrol from BP, it starts to learn as you tell it BP is petrol. It, it comes in a review list and you can just say yes, 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 rather than maybe another software typing in BP, the amount, the date, and so forth. It's because you're bringing it to the bank. It saves a lot of time when doing that. So that's one thing down the side. And you've got recent transactions that you've done here down the left-hand side. So the other part of the menu structure is the plus up the top. Um, here you can click to raise an invoice or record an expense. And transfer money between accounts, record a bank deposit if you've received money but haven't banked it yet. Um, credit note if you're crediting a company back, customer back for an invoice you've raised, so you, um, um, you're not you're not charging any long for that invoice, etc. So you've got a nice neat little section up there. 
and then in the cog at the top is where your company settings are so in here you're going to change the name and address um, telephone number website address etc that you might want to appear in different reports or forms um, here you can edit the layout of your start your invoices and so forth and you can even import your own although that's something for a specific video again another link to your chart of accounts there's an audit log which is a record of all the actions you've done within QuickBooks if you're trying to figure out what you did and when um, you've got uh, your account with Intuit and here you can manage users who have access to your QuickBooks account so QuickBooks Simple Start comes with one user but I think QuickBooks Essential comes with three and QuickBooks Plus five so depending on how many people from your organization again you want to uh, use QuickBooks Online will depend on which version of QuickBooks you have as I said again, you can start with the cheaper versions and then go up to a higher version to tie in the facilities that you need if need be. Um, and there's another one section down here which is quite interesting is attachments. So this is a list you can attach your say you purchased some station from WH Smith and you um, you scan the expense receipt and you wanted to attach it to the to the entry in your books. Um, you can actually do that within the expense section, but the, here you can see a list of all your expenses and uh, the expense, anything you've uploaded to attach to any record within within um, QuickBooks. So, so that's the that's the cog, which is more settings related, and then this largely does the same thing as what you're doing down here. Except here you're going into an individual item, so you're going straight into an invoice, whereas there you're going into the customer and then possibly raising an invoice from there, or you're doing something to do with a the supplier there, whereas there you're going to suppliers. So it's a very quick trip around QuickBooks, the navigation here within QuickBooks Online. We love QuickBooks Online. We hope you will too. We think you'll save a lot of time using QuickBooks Online. Thanks, it's John at Tech.